Good morning, you guys. So it is, <laughs> it's Saturday morning and it's 7 a.m. We're already in the car. Pretty proud of us. Yeah, that's pretty insane. I wanted to go get breakfast this morning at, I guess it's called like True Cafe. I don't know if that's how it's actually pronounced because it's got a little. It's Two Ray. Two Ray? Yeah. It looks. Two Ray. Oh, yeah. It's T U R E, not true. Yeah, it has a little. But we've heard really good things and we've been craving Eggs Benedict from the Oak Table back home in Washington for like the last year. I've been craving Eggs Benedict. Yeah, and they have Eggs Benedict and we've never tried them before. So that is the plan. We're going to go get some breakfast this morning. They have a patio with a pretty view. I don't know if that's going to work out this morning because we are getting ready for a, we had a tropical depression off the coast and now it's turned into a tropical storm. So I think it's like the calm before the storm and the lighting's really bad, but it's still pretty like nice out right now. There's no rain, but it's really breezy. I just went in and took all our cushions off the patio furniture just so they don't blow away if it gets bad today, but that's the plan. Um, and then later on finished getting some stuff done for baby because guys we just hit 33 weeks Thursday we went and had our ultrasound to check his size since he was since I was measuring small and he was supposedly measuring small I don't know how they can get that off just like measuring from your belly button to your pubic bone but he's small but he's he's measuring a good weight he is four and a half pounds roughly at 33 weeks which Based on my Google searches, that's pretty average for that. <laughs> so he's doing good. We did find out that he is breech, so that's kind of stressing me out. Rowdy a little bit, but not so much. She tells me to calm down in a good way, the best way possible. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully he turns. I've just been, yeah, hoping. We go to the doctors on Monday, so hopefully they'll give us some answers and know how many weeks we have until they try to manually turn him, which I'm praying that they don't. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get on the road. This is what we're working with today, guys. You know, I'm 33 weeks pregnant and feel like putting makeup on today. I brushed my hair and threw on a t-shirt. So, right, same thing, just t-shirt and shorts because we rolled out of bed. So I'll check back in with you guys, maybe at breakfast and let you know what we ordered and take you along on what we do for baby today. Roddy's gonna get his Halo bassinet all set up, I think, today. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, all along, guys. Okay, so we just got done with breakfast at Toure? Toure. Toure Cafe. And Toure we Cafe. did not care for their breakfast. Well, what we got. Their pancakes look bomb, but their smoked salmon in particular, smoked salmon eggs benedict was garbage. It wasn't I've good. I've never not finished a meal before. I always feel I bad too. Three, I took three bites and I actually Run. almost threw up, so. Rowdy, has decided that he maybe he just doesn't like salmon, but we've had salmon before and I know he likes it, even though he's claiming I've he had doesn't. Smoked salmon. You, know that you like baked just... salmon, you don't like yeah, that's true. And well, you, you like those smoked, salmon bites, you know, you know those, that was such smoked salmon, and you like those. Yeah, well, I mean, it's probably like candied smoked salmon, <laughs> real good. I just don't think you like that style of salmon. I mean, they, it was cold, yeah. I want my it, eggs benedict, I want like hot eggs benedict, and that it was bad all around. But their their pancake, I will say. We might come back and try their pancakes. Yeah, we have to come back for breakfast. Those look super fluffy and delicious. Um, but so then, and um, after, since we didn't really eat breakfast, I think we're actually gonna go back to base and go through the <laughs> Wendy's drive-thru. Shameful. Um, but we walked over and got coffee at um, one of Guam's local one. coffee shops called Coffee Slit. Yes, that is the actual name. Um, 
but they have pretty good coffee. I'm, I'm They're happy. very limited menu, um, mm -hmm. but good coffee and cute little atmosphere of their cafe. We got t-shirts. I'll turn you around and show you. It says caffeine, super cute, and then it has their logo on the arm. Gotta get our t-shirts in, our touristy t-shirts in when we visit these places. So, um, But that's the plan, we're gonna go back Get breakfast because I'm still a hungry pregnant woman because I barely oh, yeah. ate my 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 English muffin was also soggy. We don't like soggy bread and it was like not toasted correctly. So yeah, it was barely. Mine was barely toasted. Yours I don't think not was toasted, toasted at all. At all. So, so it do soaked that. up all that super salty sandwich. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Go home yeah. and start working on baby stuff. Mm -hmm. So the storm is starting to move in. It's starting to sprinkle right now. So yeah. I think. We're gonna get home before it like truly hits, but maybe we should go to the store. Still a gorgeous view. Oh yeah, and maybe I just, need to. Go to the store and stop in. We do need to go to the store. We gotta go to the next for a couple of things. So I'll do a little mini haul of the things we get. Yeah. So I'll check back in later. <laughs> hey guys, so we just got back from all our errands this morning. We ended up going. Did go to the next. I'll show you the couple of things that I got. And then we ended up just going grocery shopping since we were out and the commissary opened at 10. So it's only 11 and we've been so productive today, but I haven't done a grocery haul for you guys in a while. So I thought maybe I'd just give you like a quick overview of everything we got and let you know of the couple of meal plans that we plan on doing this week. So here is an overview of groceries. We spent roughly 160 bucks 165 um, our meal plan this week is I'm gonna do like a cob salad we're gonna do a sheet pan um, smoked sausage with asparagus and potatoes and then Rowdy what's the third meal I'm doing oh and then the third meal is shrimp with a uh, pineapple shrimp with rice. So those were the things we got. We got some extra stuff, like we ended up getting two things of chicken breasts and two things of chicken thighs because they actually had them in stock. Uh, we got like some tater tots because we have wings to use up in the freezer we're gonna do tonight. I got some stuff for my lunches. We've been loving, by we I mean me, I've been loving the Amy's brand TV dinners for quick lunches. I got the mac and cheese. And then the broccoli cheddar bowl is really good. We got some Jimmy Dean sausage. Rowdy goes on leave this week, so he got some yogurts. He really likes the so delicious dairy-free coconut milk ones, since they're obviously dairy-free and they don't upset his stomach. Baby has been obsessed with coconut waters lately, so these have been a must-have on our grocery list. And then I just saw these veggie straws. Um, snack packs that I thought would be great to take for lunch. They never have those at the commissary. What else? Lemons for lemon water. Rowdy's been taking these for lunch, these tuna packets if you're trying to eat healthy. Um, these ones you just microwave for 30 seconds. Super awesome. And then I've been obsessed with muffins for breakfast. So I got a couple packs of those. But that is like the overall of our groceries for the week, but yeah, 160 bucks. It's a little bit more than we spend weekly, but groceries here in Guam are pricey. So yeah, but um, let me put all these groceries away real fast and then I'll show you what I got at the next real fast. All right, groceries are all put away. So next, uh, next shopping haul. The first thing that I got was the Thank You Next perfume by Ariana Grande, which I have been wanting for a while. I don't know, they hadn't had it in stock at the next and then when we were up at Anderson they had it and I was thinking on it and then I never went back and grab, grabbed it so today they got restocked so I decided just to pick it up it was only like $55 and it's tax free since it's the NEX so it smells so good it's a very sweet scent so if you like sweet scents but also the, her packaging for her perfumes just get me like how adorable is this and then it comes out but like I had to buy it. I didn't probably need it, but I, I've been wanting it for a while, so. And then Rowdy decided to also splurge today and he got um, some Costa sunglasses because he's been wanting a pair of sunglasses that won't fall off his face if he looks down. 
and coasters are good for like fishing and things like that. Uh, he just has his Ray-Bans right now and so like they fit great but when you look down they like they will fall off your face. So he got these really cool red, white, and blue Costas. They have like the red, white, and blue packaging. But he's in love with them. I hope so for the price. But <laughs> we had a bunch of rewards from our credit card to use so it almost wiped the cost of them. I also got just some another pack of candle warmers for our candle melts for my candle warmer. This one's just a pink cotton candy. Brody picked up some liquid IV, the passion fruit flavor, which we haven't tried. I'm hoping that this one tastes better than the lemon lime one. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't my favorite. So I'm hoping this tastes good. I really liked the drip, drip O brand of like the liquid IV, like the hydration packs in the watermelon flavor. If you ever see those, they're really good, but we haven't seen them again on island to buy them. So I'm hoping the passion fruit tastes good. And then the last thing, a couple things we got was a condolences card for a family friend that just passed away. And then some stickers. These ones are like food sayings. And then they have like little food faces. And it says like, you're baking me crazy. That's so cheesy. And then these Harry Potter stickers. So the thought process behind these is we're kind of gonna do a calendar chart it sounds like a, for a child, but um, just to help us track. So Roddy got me this really cool game for Christmas. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. He saw it on TikTok and then bought it online. They're called Served. It's a his and hers game, card game. So basically you both get a deck of cards and you get to play them against each other. So like it'll be, let me see, let me see my deck of cards. Um, so like this one's called the recipe recital card and it says, so I stumbled across this recipe and it looks delicious. Some of the steps sound kind of tricky, but I believe in you. Good luck tunnel boning the quail, LOL. So you get to like play them against each other. So like that one, I find a recipe that I wanted. I can make him cook it for me. There's also, this one's kind of funny. Um, the pamper party card, it says OMG facials and not the sexual kind. You sicko, we're having a night in full of face masks, manicures, rose, and Lana effin' Delray. Um, the rewind card, there's the grumpy pants card, so like do all of us a favor and lose the grumpy pants, like right now, take off your pants and don't put on another pair until I'm convinced you're cheered up. So it's just like a deck of cards that you play against each other and then there's ones for her and ones for him. So it's kind of fun, but he played one this morning that's called the new us card. It's called let's cleanse our bodies, minds, and bank accounts, starting by picking up a new habit or eliminating a bad one for an entire month. So he wants to cut sugar since his weigh-ins were just the other day and then PRT for those that know that military term. It's basically a fitness test that you have to pass. So he's wanting to cut sugar out of his diet, but he played it and he decided that starting on Monday, we're going to both pick up a new habit and cut out a bad habit. So to be able to track that, we're acting like children. We're gonna, um, I'm gonna make like a cute calendar on Canva and just print it out. And we're just gonna track every day that we have successfully done that new habit or cut the bad habit out. We're gonna place a sticker on the calendar. We were gonna just buy a calendar, but they didn't have any in stock in the next, I guess, because it's not January, it's not a new year, but so we thought some cute stickers to do that. But if you're looking for something fun to do with your significant other, definitely look out or look up this served his and hers game. It's super fun. But yeah, that is everything that I got at the next. I'm gonna probably kick my feet up and relax for a few minutes. And then we are gonna put crib together, or not crib, bassinet together for baby. And then there's also, I need, to sit down and write out a list of things I need to do. I wanted to pick up a planner at the next, but I couldn't find any, so I might need to order one off Amazon. We're gonna place a big Amazon order today with everything that we need to still grab for baby, but I'm thinking I might need a planner these days with pregnancy brain, I'm trying to remember all my appointments, 
switching with my coworker all the time because she's got family stuff going on. I've got baby stuff going on. I might be considering taking over being the ombudsman at our current command. And then obviously with baby being here, I just have so much to track. Pregnancy brain is a real thing and just forgetfulness in general. So that is everything going on. Like I said, I will check back in in a little bit when we decide to build his halo bassinet. All right, you guys, we got the Halo bassinet all built. We got the Halo, is this the premium one, honey? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think this is the premium one. Um, but so. the hubs just got premium all, yeah. all Premier. built. Premier. It's got the light on it. It's got the sounds, sounds like um, in the womb, and what is the other one? Uh, it has womb, babbling brook, Birds, static. That's it. And Birds, then, static, family, broken womb. And then it also rocks the baby too if you decided to use that feature. We went okay, with. I mean, it's a little vibration setting. I can't remember what color this is, but this is the color that we went with. It's just like a, a very neutral color. Yeah. But so far, our thoughts on it were pretty good. What do you think, building wise, honey? How, how was it? I think it was great. Uh, extremely easy to assemble, like really easy to assemble, and also it gives you a feeling of how durable it is, I guess. Yeah. Because it's, it feels like some solid metal, the, the, the entire base is solid metal. Like this is not going to break, snap, or bend on you. Yeah, it didn't feel like a super cheap metal. Um, you know, you guys know what we're talking about. Like when you open something and you're like, I could bend this metal. Like this felt like I could knock. No, each, out each piece was like five pounds a piece. I mean, you probably have like 25 something pounds of metal on the base, like 25 or 30 pounds of metal. It's like it's. Give us it's, a little uh, demo there, honey. It's hefty. It's like it's at least 30, 40. It's like 40 pounds almost. Give us a little demo. 
Yeah. So wibbles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this spins all the way in a circle, and then also this spins in a circle. So you can pretty much get the right position if you ever want. So I and mean, on the sides are locks, so this doesn't go down. But then when you want it to go down, you can get that. And then it has the lights and all that kind of stuff that we that you saw. Yeah. So that is one thing to know. Like this is a very sturdy, durable base, so it's definitely heavy. You're not going to be able to like easily move it from room to room. But we don't plan on plan on that this plans on just being like staying in the bedroom and then we have the playpen if we really wanted to put in something in the living room or you know like whatever but we don't plan on moving around so that feature of a bassinet wasn't something we really cared about we cared more about durability and making sure that his safety was our number one priority yeah I mean that was like 30 or 40 no. Yeah, so I feel good about it though. Break and it's not going to bend over. Super, super easy to put together, so. Oh yeah, which I am a big fan of. <laughs> yeah, well yeah, so we got his bassinet all built. Thanks, hubs. Yeah. <laughs> One step closer to being ready for little man. Yeah. Yeah, but so far we'll have to do an update for you guys once baby comes if we're actually still liking the Halo bassinet and how it works for us. Because it is obviously one of the pricier bassinets on the market. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll have to do an update for you guys. But so far, happy with the results. <laughs> but yeah, it check back sucks. in with you guys in a little bit. All right, I'm ready. Same uh, verification code? Same, same type of things. Okay, so. One, two, three, six wires. So wires? Six wires. Yeah. What color? I have a red, two yellows. A white and two okay. blues. So just one red. Okay, so um, cut the fourth wire. Cut the fourth wire? Mm hmm. Green, got it. Okay. Hieroglyphics. Okay, what, what hieroglyphics are you looking at? I see an A and an E back to back. Okay, hold on one sec. Lowercase. Okay, okay. I see. Okay, so what, what is the, the first one you see? Oh, that. Hold on. Do you see a six? Uh, a, it yeah, looks like it's a, a weird six. six. It's a yeah. six. Yeah, it looks like I a six. I see a backward E with two dots. Hold on. Over okay, it. no, no, no. Just, just listen, listen to my voice, okay? You, you see that six? Press that one first. Yeah. Got it. You see a backwards E with two dots on the top? Yep. Press that one next. Got it. You see a puzzle piece? Like a railroad track looking thing? Stitches? Yeah, like a puzzle piece or a hashtag sure. crooked, okay? Hashtag with only one line? Yeah. Got it. And then you see the backwards Amy? Got it. Okay. Green. All right, we have a button. It's a blue button. Okay. Oh, I got this. I got this. Okay. I got the button this time. Okay, it covers off. Okay. Hold on. All right. The button's blue? The button is blue. Does it say, does the button say abort? No, it says press. Okay, one sec. Hold the button. Oh, no, no, hold on. Wait, if the button is blue and the button says abort, hold the button and refer to releasing. It does not say button. Okay, well, what happens if it's blue? Hold on, I'm reading. Is there, is there more than one battery on the bomb? Um, wait, one. Oh, hold on, the button doesn't say detonate. What does the button say again? Push? It says push. Okay, no, don't. it says press. Okay, no, no. There is one battery on the bomb. Okay. If the button is white, the button's not white. If there are more than two... No, no, if the button's red, no. If none of, if none of the above apply, hold the button. Okay. Hold the button. Got it. What color strip appeared? Blue. Okay, release the when the counter timer has a four in any position. Roger. And we should defuse the bomb. That's it. Woo! Good job, Boo. All right, my turn. <laughs> yeah. Or, or are we going up a level? Uh, yeah, you're gonna click start. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, right trigger. So. Oh, right trigger? No, uh. Okay. Oh, this thing? Yeah. Or A. Oh. The only things that work are A, the oh, trigger. Oh, God, this is terrible. So, this is gonna actually. Hang on. This this thing right here, you gotta hold that whenever ah! it lights up yellow. Oh, okay. oh shit. What? 
The book is in the air. It's like off the table. Yeah, you grabbed it. Yeah. So I'd... press this again. Okay. Then I'll drop it. Oh, that picks up stuff? Or yeah. Trigger, okay. click stuff. Okay, so this thing... And A is the menu, I think. Yeah, A is menu. Oh, this guy takes... You the bomb? No, I'm not even going to click start. What are you looking at? When I click A, it picks it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. So A and the side button do basically the same thing. Oh God, it's dark. It's gonna get brighter if you look to my. If you look to your left, you see an alarm clock. Okay. Yeah. Twenty-one minutes. Yeah, don't look at the alarm. No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're gonna have like. So you gotta grab it with those with that button I just said, on the side. What am I grabbing? It should turn yellow. Look what? on the. Look What's on turning the, yellow? Look on the bomb. Okay. Grab a piece on the side or whatever. Oh, oh shit, the bomb's on the ground. <laughs> oh man, I don't know, I need instructions. <laughs> Press A. Oh, okay. That's the instruction manual? I don't yeah. want to, nope. You're going to say move. reset oh, room. We're going to set that over there. Okay, oh no. I was going to say you can reset the oh. room. Okay, maybe we'll do that. I don't even. Oh my goodness! I. Okay, I reset the room. Okay. <laughs> All right, now pick up the bomb. I don't know how to pick it up. With the, not the trigger. Stop pushing the trigger. It's this. There you go. Oh, side okay. thing. But it fell to the table. Okay. Okay. It's close enough to me now. Can you see it? Yeah. I mean. Is it set up on the table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the table. Can I put it in my lap? No. You need to set it on the table to where it's facing you and okay. it's facing you. Okay, I could I need to know how many wires. What are we looking at? <laughs> okay, there's three wires. three wires. I got a blue, a black, and a blue. We got three minutes. Blue, black, blue? Blue, black, blue. Cut the second wire. How do, okay. Trigger. Trigger. Oh, okay, green, green light. All right, what's the next thing? Okay, hieroglyphics. We got the candle opera thing we got the c with the dot in the middle we got the smiley face and we got an eel looking monster thing what a v with like a three and the... it's, it's the c with the dot in the center that you have I and the smiley that. face i'm trying to find the whatever the hell you just said that e, the eel? well it should be in that comment call you said column. eel boo just, just find the column with babe this, hold on hold on stop trying to think it's for a, me. it looks like a three that's what i said stop trying to think for okay. me okay all right press the candelabra Got it. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. I pressed the wrong one. Dude. Okay, got it. Smiley face. Okay. The C. Okay. The oh. snake. Okay. Go green? Yeah. Um, button. It says it's white and it says hold. Hold on. I don't want to see the button. Hold. It, it, it goes scroll up from the hieroglyphics. Got it. Okay. All right, hold on. We got two minutes. I know. What does it say? It's just white and it says hold. It says white and it says hold, got it. Babe, I'm terrible at pressing buttons. You better tell me real fast what I gotta do. Hold the button down. Okay. What's the light on the side of it? Uh, blue. I guess release when it has a four in it. When the number has a four? And you have a bar of four. I did it. All right. All right, hardest part about that was, uh... Me learning... <laughs> you dropping the bomb onto the floor. <laughs> I think that was it right there. Oh. Huh. And trying to think for me on the Sorry. Hier hieroglyphics. <laughs> you can stop the camera. Ha! <laughs> <sighs> All right. All right, you guys, it is like 10.30 at night, so we are gonna end the vlog here. That last clip uh, of, was us playing this game on the VR headset that we just got. What's it called, Bibs? You found it. Uh, keep talking and no one blows up? It was pretty fun. Like um, basically, there's like, it starts with like three scenarios and then you build up to like harder levels where there's like three all the way up to like 11 or 12. We didn't get that far, but <laughs> it definitely takes some like teamwork 
and patience with each other because otherwise you get really frustrated. <laughs> Um, but we were enjoying it. It's pretty fun. If you're looking for like a fun date night idea and you have a VR system or even just like a game night with friends, it'd be super fun to play. But yeah, we enjoyed it. But we're going to go relax and I'm going to go shower and crawl into bed because it's, like I said, 1030 at night and I'm a tired pregnant woman. <laughs> you sleepy? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh... Like I always say in my videos, if you like our vlogs, don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe so you don't miss any more Hanging with the Herbert vlogs, and leave us a comment. And I will see you next Friday for another video. Bye guys!